Let's take this outside. Castle Forged. First things first, I got this from Valerian Steel, and I'll put a link below if you want to get one of your own. Let's unbox this. It's the Stark Infantry Shield from A Game of Thrones. This is the back. And already the packaging is different. I know us people don't care about the packaging, but I gotta say, it's, it's nice. I like it better than the previous one. First thing on the top. And inside, the Game of Thrones Certificate of Authenticity. There isn't a signature on this one, since this is the HBO replica and not a book replica. Ladies, gentlemen, <clears throat> May I present the stalwart, the shield, bearing the sigil of the direwolves, the protector of House Stark. Big reveal. Da, da, da. Pull it out. Inside there are a couple other things. These are some, uh, some mounting screws and stuff. This is the bracket. It'll hold three swords. Here it is. It's uh, kind of a matte gray. It's still reflective. It's shining. Let's try to give you a little detailing of the embossing. A bit more. Well, let's flip this over. Check out the other side. The certificate of authenticity didn't have any numbering, but here it is. Stark Infantry Shield. And then it's number 49. It's kind of got like a belt texture to it and um, these are the straps you know how the straps work here they're leather and they're attached to each other so what do I think about this shield it's gonna look great on my fireplace or great over my bed but really, let's do a little review. This is the first replica shield I've ever owned. There have been two other ones that I've considered. There was the High Elven uh, fiberglass uh, shield, and then there was the Second Age Gondorian, and that one had some issues. I'm very happy to have this shield. I think it's well made. Do you guys remember this and how I thought it would be cool if they made a full size version? What's that? want to go over a few things like the weight it has a good weight to it let's weigh this the weigh is at 12 pounds which is by no means heavy like I can carry it move it around easily I'm no art historian but the little research I did, see, this seems to fit into the range of a historical shield from 10 to 15 pounds, this being 12 pounds. And uh, shields that were too heavy, I mean, what would be the point? You couldn't lift them, you couldn't use them. And these were designed to be maneuverable. Not a medieval historian, but a shield expert. You know you do the same thing. But come on guys, who are we kidding? Are we really going to be using shields to defend ourselves? I think there's better options these days. Though, it is nice to know that in case it came down to that, this would function. 
So quick question, do you like the design of the, the dire wolves in Game of Thrones? How about that aesthetic? Overall aesthetic, what do you think? This is what you'll see on the banners. I think it's quite modern, quite graphic, very designed. So what you see the soldiers carrying. It took me a while to warm up to this particular design, but I do like it. I think it fits the overall stark aesthetic well. It has a primitive, ancient look to it. Let's check the thickness of this. How about that thickness? Let's get a thickness of the metal. Um, measured out to about 3 eighths of an inch. And that's the flattened edge. It's not the thickness of the metal itself. On the inside you can kind of see it's a rolled lip here. I think the construction is two parts. So you have the outer stainless steel and you have like an inner piece. They're attached to each other. The thickness of the rolled edge is an eighth of an inch. And I know there's space between you know, the rolled edge here. The thickness of the metal, I would guess to be less than a sixteenth of an inch. I'm not sure of the gauge. But then you combine it with the inner panel. It's just hard to tell. What I can tell you, that if it came to pushing bodies, you could definitely push someone out, out of the way with this. If it came to hack and slash, this would get dented up, but I think that's kind of what shields are intended to do, is keep you from getting dented up. It's color time. To the color, in bright sunlight, it's this flat, matte, gray, that's reflective. I gotta be honest, I was a little bit surprised that it was painted, but thinking back, it's quite obvious that it had to have been painted. Hold on a second. I brought an example here. Uh, this is a stainless pot, and it's very shiny. And throw a picture up in here so you can see what the original photo looks like. It's obviously not that. But this here in the sunlight doesn't look like this either. So here, check it out. Sunlight. And then in a cast shadow. It has this more distressed kind of paint going on. A little more worn. I brought it into the shadows, but it's still outside and it's uh, sunny outside. And then so you can kind of, you know, see the, the brushwork in the paint application and kind of the quality that it looks like. Here you can see it inside and I don't have any lights on, but you can kind of get the picture here. It's a little more uh, variation in the, the texture. So most of the shots I did in, uh, in full sunlight, so they're very, very flat gray. So you can just see what you're getting. Overall, I recommend the shield. I think it does two things really well. I think it's a beautiful prop replica. And I think it's gonna make a great display with the three swords behind it. It's important though, when buying a shield like this, to keep things in perspective. It's not intended you know, to battle with. It is nice to know that it is 12 pounds of steel that will function. Thanks for all the likes and comments, guys. It means a lot. We've got more to come. Please do subscribe. Once again, if you guys want to get this, I put a link below to Valerian Steel. Like if you like and let me know what you think.